Hello, I'm Jack Koenig with Graco Automatic Lubrication Equipment, and today I'm going to teach you how to order a Lube Master assembly by using what we call a smart part number. A smart part number uses six digits, like traditional Graco part numbers, but each digit is significant. You may have seen smart numbers on the Graco Husky double diaphragm pumps or checkmate pumps for heavy fluids. Here in AutoLube, we also use smart numbers for miniature meter flow pump packages and box lubricators such as the MBL and Model 25. The first two letters on each of these is going to indicate which family of pumps you are ordering. For Lube Master Assembly, the first two letters are LM, so those should be pretty easy to remember. Each of the next four digits indicates an option, which allows you to customize your assembly. Here I'm calling them A, B, C, and D, but for the Lube Master, all of the options are numbers, not letters. You'll see what I mean in a moment. There are a lot of options, which means that the smart part number can be a lot to wrap your head around. So if you find this to be a little bit confusing, don't worry, you're not the only one. Let's take a quick look at all of the options we see here, and then I'll go through them one by one with some better images. When ordered by the smart number, the pump body will always be included, and it will include a pressure gauge. It does not include a pressure relief, so be sure to order that separately. The oil reservoir has a flip cap on top, and though we can't see it here, the grease reservoir has that big spring inside and both of these are available as polycarbonate plastic or steel metal. There is also an option called OHS, or overhead supply, which can be fed through a port on top from an external reservoir. Any of these reservoir options can be combined with any of the drive options. Here is the clutch drive, and then the electric motor drives with the floor mount and wall mount orientations. The electric motors are offered in two speeds, in either single phase or three phase AC power. And finally, we have low level switches for both the grease and the oil reservoirs. The OHS does not offer a low level switch because you'd put your switch in the external reservoir instead. Lots of options. Now that we've seen what options are available, let's take a closer look at each one by going through some examples. After the LM, the first number is the reservoir. The reservoir in this photo includes a spring on a follower plate so it's a grease reservoir. It also has a polycarbonate tube and is about a foot tall. Now I'll pause for a moment and try to let you select the right part number from the list. If you guessed the 12 pound plastic grease reservoir, then you are correct. So this is option five. The reservoir tubes are about one inch per pint or pound. The size 12 tube is 13 inches and the size 20 tube is 19 inches. So like I said, about one inch per pint or pound. Also make a note that there is no option for a pump with no reservoir. Every LM assembly ordered by one of these smart numbers will at least include a pump and a reservoir. If you need the separate components individually, you can order them with a traditional six digit part number that starts with a five. B is the drive. Does this configuration look like it will mount on the floor or on the wall? And which ratio is displayed in the inset photo? In this photo, we have a floor mounting base with a 10 to 1 ratio gearbox, so we are looking at option 3. Now the motor. Just to forewarn you, the color of the motor doesn't matter. We buy our motors from several vendors, and we don't specify what color they paint it. We only care about the specifications shown on the tag. This motor is 1725 RPM, so we know it's either option 2 or 3. The voltage is 115 to 30 volt single phase, so that means it's option 2. The final letter is the low level switch. Since this package includes a grease reservoir, there is only one option for a factory installed switch. However, there are a couple of special options that you can order separately. There is a high low switch that is only for metal grease reservoirs. And there is an explosion proof option that fits on both the plastic and the metal grease reservoirs. But for a factory installed low level switch for a grease reservoir, the only choice is option four. You could select option one if you choose not to use a low level switch at all, or if you want to install one of those special ones that I just mentioned. But if you want a standard switch for a grease reservoir that's factory installed, that's option four. And with that, we have a complete smart part number LM5324. Remember, this does not include a pressure relief, so be sure to order that separately. As another example, let's start over with a much simpler configuration. This is a taller reservoir, almost 20 inches tall in fact and we can see the flip cap on top, so it's an oil reservoir. So this is option two, the 20 pint plastic oil reservoir. There is an option for no drive, which results in a pump and a reservoir, just like we see in our example. With no drive, then there is no place to put a motor either. So both the drive and the motor will be option one. When someone opts for no drive, then the pump simply has a drive shaft with a keyway, 
which can then receive a pulley or sprocket to be driven with a belt or a chain. Or you could put your own coupler on it. You could drive it however you want to as long as you don't exceed 175 RPM on that drive shaft. Even though this could still get a low level switch factory installed, this particular assembly does not include one, so the last digit is also option one. And that's all there is to the smart number for this assembly, so the smart part number is LM2111. Now if we take the same pump and reservoir combo and add a drive, a motor, and a low level switch, it might look like this. Since we still have the same reservoir as the last example, we know that the first number after LM is reservoir option two. These lists of options that I've been showing come straight out of our buyer's guide. So let's see if we can pick the rest of the numbers from the full list in the buyer's guide. The tag on the gear reducer says 60, so this is a 60 to one ratio, and the base is configured as a wall mount, so this is drive option six. Even though this motor looks slightly different than the blue one in the first example, it has the same specifications of single phase AC power and 1725 RPM, so it is also motor option two. Since this is an oil reservoir, it's not quite as easy to select a low level switch as it was for the grease reservoir. But when we remember that the reservoir is the 20 pint option, we can see on the list that only two of the options say they are for a 20 pint reservoir. For the sake of time, if you would like to know more about the low level switch options, including how to install one in the field, please see the existing video that I have on YouTube and in our Graco Salesbook app. Since we can see the metal sphere at the bottom of the low level switch assembly, as well as the blue and black micro switch on top, we know that this is the 15 amp single pole double throw switch, and that's option three. And you don't have to worry about installing this switch. When it's specified as part of the smart part number, we install the low level switch for you at our factory. And with that, our third and final example is complete, and the smart part number is LM2623. Just as we do with other pumps such as the G3, the pressure relief is sold separately. The pressure relief is a safety device, and even though we don't include it as part of the smart part number, it's important that you remember to order one and install it in the field. If you choose either 563-179 or 563-184, these are simple blowout disc assemblies that thread into the port at the bottom of the pump output manifold. 563-384 and 563-385 are a bit more complicated and more assembly is required, so here too, I have an existing video that you can watch to learn more about them. Let's close out this presentation by looking at a couple of optional components that are also available from Graco. If you are using a single phase motor, then a GLC 4400 controller is a great addition to your pump package. And with a controller, you can use a proximity switch to count cycles, assuming the pump is connected to a series progressive divider valve. The proximity switch will also need a cable with flying leads to connect to the GLC 4400 controller. And guess what? I have an existing video about how to connect those flying leads to this controller. The electrician who installs the pump, as well as the controller, will also need to supply some additional wire to make all of the connections. Now you know how to order a Lube Master assembly by using a smart part number. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions about Lube Master pump packages or any other Graco product, please reach out and contact us because we are always happy to hear from you. And if you want to be informed when we post new videos, Remember to click subscribe.